Once upon a time, in a lush and vibrant forest, there lived a clever little rabbit named Sophie. Sophie was known throughout the forest for her intelligence and quick thinking, which had helped her out of many tricky situations in the past. However, she had never faced a challenge as dangerous as the cunning fox who had recently moved into the neighborhood. The fox, named Dean, was notorious for his sly ways and had a reputation for outsmarting even the wisest of creatures. Dean was intrigued by Sophie's reputation and decided to challenge her wit. He believed that no creature, no matter how clever, could outsmart him. One sunny morning, Sophie was hopping along a path in the forest when she noticed Dean sunning himself on a large rock. Sophie knew she had to be cautious, for she had heard stories of Dean's deceitful ways. Good morning, Dean, Sophie greeted the fox, trying to sound as friendly as possible. What brings you to this part of the forest? Dean with a sinister smile, oh, just exploring, dear Sophie. But I've heard you are the smartest animal in the forest. Care to prove it? Sophie's heart raced, but she couldn't back down from a challenge. She replied, of course, Dean. I'm always up for a little game of wits. What do you have in mind? Dean slithered closer, his eyes never leaving Sophie's. Let's have a contest, he proposed. I'll ask you a riddle, and if you can't solve it, you'll become my dinner. But if you do solve it, I'll promise not to bother you or your friends ever again. Sophie knew she had to tread carefully, but she agreed to the challenge. Dean began his riddle, I am long and thin, with scales upon my skin. I live in the ground, where I rarely make a sound. What am I? Sophie pretended to ponder the riddle for a moment, her mind racing. Then she smiled and replied, you are a worm, Dean. The fox's eyes narrowed in frustration. Correct, but that was an easy one. Let's try another. Dean presented another riddle, I have no feet, yet I can run. I have no mouth, yet I can hum. What am I? Sophie thought for a moment and then confidently answered, you are a river, Dean. The fox was growing increasingly frustrated but remained composed. You're right again, he grumbled, but I have one more for you. He posed his final riddle, I have no legs, but I can leap. I have no eyes, but I can weep. What am I? Sophie pretended to ponder the riddle for a long while, making Dean anxious. Finally, she grinned and said, you are a cloud, Dean. The fox was furious. He had underestimated Sophie's intelligence and now had no choice but to keep his promise. He walked away in defeat, muttering to himself about the clever rabbit. Sophie watched Dean disappear into the forest and then let out a sigh of relief. She had outsmarted the cunning fox and protected her friends and herself from his mischief. From that day on, Sophie's reputation as the cleverest creature in the forest grew even stronger. She continued to use her wit to help her friends and outsmart any challenges that came her way. And though Dean had been a formidable opponent, he had learned a valuable lesson.